this video is in no way by any means like um uh this is how you uh, a how-to like by no means a how-to because i am searching for my how-to hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i hope this looks okay because it's filmed on an iphone and i look like shit because i feel like shit and this was not originally the video i was gonna make but this is what's coming out um <sighs> yo okay i'm just gonna talk my mental health has never been this bad ever in my entire life and I think it's a few things, you know? I think it's obviously quarantine, whatever. And the fact that I can't, like, go as many places as I regularly would in order to feel better. It's also just being isolated and, like, a lot of family shit going on. And then it's black people being slaughtered on TV. And it's people acting like they care about you all of a sudden because black people are being slaughtered on TV, but feeling like I don't really have anyone to really talk to. I'm losing my sense of self. I'm losing my motivation. I'm losing my sense of purpose. I'm losing my like, hope <laughs> um it's like i feel like up until this point i've seen like there's always a step forward there's always something i'm looking forward to you know it's like okay you you graduate high school well then you get to go to college and then you graduate college and then you get to start your job and then you know you get an agent and then you look forward to bookings and then you look forward to your career and blah 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 and it's like right now I just can't see any of that happening like I can't see anything I can't see anything to look forward to if that makes sense and I get so like engulfed in that feeling I feel like I just have so many different, I have so many different things going on in my head, like I, one second I can be super motivated and like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and then as soon as something bad happens or something makes me feel upset, like, that motivated Kira is gone, like, nowhere to be found has left the chat and it's just dark, like, it's just not good, not good at all and like I've been you know meditating doing yoga journaling all the shit that you're supposed to do when this happens but it's still happening and I feel like I I feel like part of my problem is that I've always been seen as like this strong person and this strong like, everyone's always like, oh, Kira, you're such a strong and powerful woman. Like, you're so empowered and empowering and strong and nobody can get the best of you. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. And I think, like, most of all, I think most of this video is just for me to talk it out. But if there is, I guess, something to be taken from this video... It's because I feel like there's like this stereotype of, I don't know if stereotype's the right word, but I'm just going to use it for now. Stereotype of like the strong black woman, which like is, f you know what? No, it's harmful. I feel like, I don't know. Do I really know anything ever? 
I feel like what this strong black woman stereotype has personally done for me is make it that I can't cry in front of anybody. I still do, but it, like, I feel like I can't, like, I can't shatter the image. And it, I feel like it makes it easier for people to, like, put shit on me because I'm the strong black woman and nothing affects me because I'm this strong black woman. No, I cry all the fucking time. Like, I hurt the same as everybody else. So I hate... <sighs> I hate, like, the, my whole life, it's just been like, oh, Kira's so strong. She's so this, she's so that. I am a fragile person. And I feel like I'm not allowed to be fragile because I'm supposed to be this strong black woman. And I'm not saying that, obviously I'm not saying black women can't be strong. I'm just saying it's not fair to expect people to to be stronger than everybody else and then put extra shit on them or expect them to be able to handle extra without comfort, if that makes sense. What that does is it makes it that, it makes it so like, I feel like I have to keep my, like my emotions down, my sadness down. And then I don't, I don't vocalize things and then they just you know they get worse and worse until it's this big thing that you can't ignore and you're just crying all the time every day and you don't know why <laughs> um and it's because oh you were never given the space to deal with your feelings and to deal with your issues like you know um and I also just have been dealing with like guilt about being sad. I don't know if anybody else experiences that where like you go through fits of whether it's anxiety or panic attack or just like bawling your eyes out and then like feel guilty for bawling your eyes out. And it's, all, it's, it's like half of like why, and that's why I think this stereotype has been so damaging to me in particular because I have this voice in my head that's like, why are you crying? You're stronger than this. You're supposed to be strong. Why are you crying? You're weak, don't cry. Like, and it's just like beating myself up when I'm down, you know? And it's like, it's also like, why are you, so upset you have so much to be grateful for like i can't like and it's just like it's debilitating though like i'll have like and the thing is i've never i've never been to therapy like i have considered it but i just never have and i think part of that is the voice in my head that's like you can fix it on your own you're a strong black woman I think it's that, and then I think it's also, like, I, that's, my family's never dealt with things like that. You know, it's always just been, we'll get through it, it's gonna be okay, get over it. Not in so many words, like, it's not like I would be upset and my family would just be like, get over it. it it's just like... I'll be upset and it's like, okay, it's fine, everything's gonna be okay. And it's like, okay, sure, but we need to unpack this first, you know, before, in order for things to be okay, like, we need to unpack the shit that is going on before we can sweep it under the rug and be like, it's okay, we're strong, you know? And I felt like that. I don't know. So, what I'm saying is, I've never really had the verbiage to talk about things that I've been experiencing and I like had I used to have like crazy like I don't know how to describe it other than like fits like fits in high school where like something would happen or whatever and I'm just like screaming crying like just like lashing out like, I guess it's fine to have stuff like that happen every once in a while but it was happening so often 
in high school where I just was so I could not get my emotions out any other way I don't and I w I'm like an articulate person you know like I know how to say what I'm feeling but I just could not I was just screaming crying like I just could not it was this overwhelming feeling and it just set me into fits and I I hadn't had a fit like that in and I don't want to call it a fit because it makes me sound like two but it's just like an uh, an episode I don't know what to call it I don't know and that's what I'm saying I don't really know the verbiage I don't really know the difference between like a panic attack and an anxiety attack and just crying like I don't really know because I feel like whenever that happened I just wanted to dismiss it as early as possible rather than give a name to it because I felt that if I gave a name to it sorry about the plane I felt that if I gave a name to it if I assigned it a name that made it real you know if I if I go that was an anxiety attack then that makes it real and that means that I had an anxiety attack and I guess that would mean I have anxiety which like I just have always been so scared to label anything going on in my head as something because I know that once I do that I'm gonna attach myself to it and I almost I almost felt like that would make it worse if that makes sense which I don't think is true I don't really know is the thing and that's what I'm like this video is in no way by any means like um uh this is how you uh, a how-to like by no means a how-to because I am searching for my how-to and I would love if anybody has a how-to <laughs> like I I would love a how-to this is not a how-to <laughs> you know um, and I think that's okay and I think it's a lot to expect I think it would be a lot for me to expect myself to ar like already know how to deal with these things but oh I I don't think I mentioned this, but I, my point was I hadn't had like those episodes in years and now they're all coming back and it's honestly worse, like it's worse than before. And it's just like, I don't know, cause I feel like a lot of the things that used to help me, like even just going to a dance class or dancing with other people, period, or going places, like you can go some places now, but nowhere near enough f for it to feel like I can really go places um and not and not the same as before obviously but yeah the it's back whatever it was it's back and it's worse and that's scary it's scary that you can regress regression is scary not being okay is scary. Not being okay and being alone is scary. Not being okay and not being able to see people <laughs> is scary. And I'm also like in a different country from most of my friends right now. And that's scary and not having a, like I'm also just in between living situations I feel like I don't have a place I belong that's scary and just family shit and just life it's all the future is scary and it's not even I don't even think it's one in particular thing it's just all of it all together is just getting me it's kicking me in the butt it's whooping my ass it's whooping my mental ass. Um, yeah, and I guess I'm still searching for ways to deal with it, but I just thought I would open up on here 
because like I said, I feel like a lot of people see me as this strong person. And maybe we need to redefine strength. Because I... I don't... F I don't know. I don't feel like that strong person that everybody sees me to be right now. Like, I don't feel strong. I feel fragile. And I feel like I don't have... I'm not allowed the space to be fragile. Which makes me feel extra fragile. If that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I I don't really know how to end this video. I guess I would just say if somebody seems really strong to you, like still treat them with kindness and compassion and um treat them like a treat them like they're sensitive because they probably are even if they don't act like it. Um and don't just don't I don't know I literally don't even just understand like we're all fragile little children at heart I think and even even when you try and do the work like I feel like I've been trying to do the work on myself and that's the most annoying part is like when you feel like you've progressed so much and you've gotten so much better and you've done so much for, for yourself and you've worked on self-love so much and then you take all these steps backwards and you feel like you're back to where you started and it's not it's weird because I it's not that I feel like I don't love myself like I do feel that I love myself but there's got to be some kind of disc. I feel like I just don't like my situation right now, I guess, or something. Or the, the situation. Or the situations I'm in. I, or I just can't. I don't know. Something about what's going Like, all these things going on in my life. I just can't fucking deal. And I need... Obviously, I need to find a way to deal. Because... Gotta figure that out. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't really know what this video was. I don't know if it was helpful in any way to watch, but I just really felt like I needed to make it. So yeah, I don't know. Thanks for listening to me talk about my problems. <laughs> um, yeah, I. that's all I have to say. Subscribe <laughs> if you want to like this video if you want to comment down below if you have some helpful tips on mental health um yeah and i hope you have a good day that's all bye